Hello, my name is Emily Blake, and today I'll be talking about COVID-19, how it affected my mental health, and many other things. The weeks before COVID had hit, I was doing normal things, like going to school and hanging out with my friends in all of my free time. I was always playing soccer. Me and my team were able to travel for soccer and be recognized on social media. Me and my family were able to go out for ice cream, being worry-free. And just as we knew it, COVID was everywhere. My life changed a lot. I wasn't able to play soccer or see my friends anymore. I had to do online school and stare at a computer every day. Throughout the span of finishing sixth grade and going through seventh grade on a computer, my mental health was definitely damaged. I know I could have handled what I was going through a lot better if I had opened up to the right people. COVID made me feel trapped and maybe made my depression worse, so when I finally came forward about it, everyone I asked for help just told me it was a hard time and everyone's going through it. So over time, I stopped asking for help and my mental health was overlooked. My grades started to slip and I didn't want to ask for help because of what had happened last time. My soccer performance began to get lousy as I gained 15 pounds since I was last in school. I began to hate my body and everything about it. I always felt like someone was judging me, even my family. COVID affected way more than just my grades, soccer performance, and body image. It caused me to lose and grow apart from many friends, to develop an eating disorder, to fall into an unhealthy habit of putting others before myself, and always being on my phone and distancing myself from the overall world. But then I was finally able to see people when 8th grade started. Yes, we had to wear masks, but it was a small price to pay for being able to reconnect with all my friends and being able to do activities again. Since then, my life in middle school has been so much fun. I'm able to hang out with friends and do after school activities. COVID has caused a lot of negative things in my life, but I'm happy to say I got through them. And I was even more happy to be able to share them with you. Thank you.